In this video, we're going to set up the FRAG3 preprocessor in SNORT and test it. The FRAG3 preprocessor is a target-based IP defragmentation module for SNORT. If you'd like to follow along, here is what you'll need. First, VMware Player with Ubuntu and Backtrack running or an equivalent setup. Ubuntu with SNORT installed and the rules properly set up and be able to run SNORT as an IDS. Let's begin by first enabling FRAG3 in the SNORT configuration file. We need to enable two preprocessor directives required to activate FRAG3, a global configuration directive and an engine instantiation. In both cases, we will use default configuration for running SNORT to detect fragmentation on a Linux-based system. Normally, the setup options are located around line 242. But if you cannot find it, you can search for FRAG3. The two lines that you'll need to add are preprocessor FRAG3 underscore global colon and the second line preprocessor FRAG3 underscore engine colon Linux policy. Now save the changes and let's go to the backtrack system. To test FRAG3, we're going to use the feature called Nmap. Nmap is a utility for network discovery and security auditing. One of the options in Nmap is for sending fragmented packets to a network. The minus F option causes the request scan, including ping scans, to use tiny fragmented IP packets. So let's bring up a console and backtrack and type Nmap minus F. Now we need to know the IP address of the destination system. So let's go back to Ubuntu and type ifconfig into the console. Now that we know what the IP address is, let's go back to Backtrack and fill in the IP address, but do not run it yet. Now that we're ready to send IP packets back to Snort, let's run Snort as an IDS. For this video, I'm going to send the alerts to the screen. Now let's go back to backtrack and run the nmap command. Back in Ubuntu, we will notice that there are two alerts that state community SIP TCP slash IP message flooding detected to SIP proxy. If you do not see these alerts and you're sure that you followed the video exactly, then you probably do not have the rules installed correctly. Let's stop snort from running. Now let's scroll up to the frag3 statistics where you will see that all fragments were detected by SNORT. If we go up to action status, we will see that two alerts were generated. The objective was accomplished. We can say that the SNORT IDS detected IP fragments using the FRAG3 processor. So what else can you do? Well, there's a tool called SCAPI that can be used to craft your own packets. This tool is built into Backtrack. Just type SCAPI into your Backtrack console and begin crafting your own packets. There's also a tool called FragRoute, which is different from a frag router. This tool will fragment all packets going to a destination of your choice. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and leave any comments that you have.